how you can take control of your courses if you haven't already done so and um, make sure you create a section, uh, add it to the right um, semesters and then you're ready to start adding stuff to your course. So um, I've logged into Schoology here and I'm on the landing page. Um, if I click on courses right now, the user I'm logged in as does not have any courses. So it says you have no active courses. I can click here on browse courses and uh, because I don't yet have any courses it automatically takes me here to the course listing page where we've um, imported all of the um, names of courses and course codes and stuff from Maplewood. If I click here on my courses uh, right now um, it's empty because I don't have anything. If you already had a course it would take you to this page first so to see the course listing you just click here on course listings. It's alphabetical you can just use the next button to search through and find whatever courses you're teaching and um, take ownership of them but uh, what I'll show you right now is uh, instead of doing that you can just search here on the right so I'll just write tech in that box and push enter and it shows me um, a few tech courses here. Um, I teach two sections of grade seven technology this year so what I'm going to do is you can see there are four past sections in here um, all I need to do is say um, in this case all I need to do is say add section and uh, course code tech seven um, and course name section one I'm going to change that to tech seven a um, this year, grade seven, I believe there are four, or sorry, three homerooms, and they're split uh, into two sections for most courses. So um, the letter is not going to be the last name of the person in the homeroom. I think we're just going with A and B. I could be wrong. By the time this video comes out, that might have changed. But uh, for now, that's what I'm going to say, Tech 7A. Um, and I want to say, for me, uh, it's a fall and winter term course. Some of you it might just be a fall course and you'll set up your winter term courses later, uh, but you know that better than me, so just choose grade, seventh grade, and then I say create, and it's going to automatically enroll me as admin. We had a problem earlier in the year where this option wasn't coming up. Um, if it's not coming up for you, please do let us know and we will get it fixed. So we're going to say create. And now it's created um, a section of grade seven. You can see it has one active section. Uh, section. If I click it, um, you can see Tech Seven A, Fall and Winter Term. Go ahead and click that, and I'm just going to say close. So now this is the bare bones, empty shell of a Schoology course. And you can come in here, and um, as we talked about earlier in the year, and there are lots of other videos on this, you can add assignments, quizzes, files, discussions, etc. So I won't go into that here. Uh, there are other videos that will help you figure out how to do all that great stuff. So that's how you take control of a course and create a section. I'm going to just go back to courses and see all. And if there is already a course listed with a section set up, so I'm going to go um, and show you another example here. So let's say I'm the biology teacher and um, I'm teaching SBI for UA. Uh, all I'd need to do is go in here and um, go under members and uh, add members. Find, I know I'm logged in as the test staff here. Angela Wojciech, if you're in the school, would you please call reception? Angela Wojciech, please call reception. Thank you. Sorry about that. I'm going to click here on test staff, add members, and uh, I'm going to make that person an admin. There we go. So now they're the administration administrator of that course. Um, now I'm going to go into course. Actually, I'm going to undo that because this person is obviously not. Uh, hmm. They don't have cause problems. Anyway, we'll fix it later. Um, another thing you want to look at is go under course options and edit privacy and what you want to do here is um, right now it's showing that anyone in the school can have a look in your course uh, you might want to just set that to everyone in the course can see it um, they can see updates materials rosters calendars and stuff like that um, and then here you can change who can post course updates um, you might want to just make that course admins uh, comment on course updates and stuff so that um, 
really depends on how you're running your course. And then save changes here like that. So there we go. Um, I'm going to go back into courses now, and you can see that I'm the administrator of Technology 7 and Biology here. So, um, so now it's sort of a quick link back to my course when I'm ready to use it. And that's how you take uh, control of your course. You can also change the um, picture here. So you just say Edit Picture. And then uh, you could upload a picture from your computer. So if you find a picture on the internet that you think suits your course, you can upload it there. There are a few other settings in here under Course Options. You can say um, Edit Info. And uh, this is some of the details we filled out at the start. But you can see, um, you could put a location here. So you might say Room, whatever. Whatever that happens to be, and same changes. Um, one thing the system does not handle is week one, week two schedules, so putting in this sort of information is meaningless, unfortunately. Uh, you know, saying that we meet Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is unfortunately never going to be the case at our school. So um, putting in that information does not help anyone. Um, okay, I'm back on my landing page. There's one more thing I want to show you how to do, and that is how to get students added to your course. Now, I think the best way to do this is to sit everyone in your course with their laptop open and then give them the access code. So everyone in senior school anyway has access to a laptop. You can sit them down and tell them, okay, click on courses and click join. And in this box, I want you to write F9Z blah, 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 and push join. That is the most efficient way for you to get all your students added to your course. Um, you could, if you prefer, click on Members and then just add them yourself. So start typing the names of students in the box and add them to your course. That's slower. Uh, if you teach middle school, then perhaps that's the way you'd want to do it. Although I would recommend doing it this way and just having everyone um, you know, use the laptop card and everyone, everyone use the access code. If students drop your course, however, that's when it makes sense to go into Members uh, let's pretend there was um, a student down here. You can click the little gearbox and remove them from your course. That's the best way to do it um, when they drop the course is you remove them. Um, but wor worry about or let them worry about adding themselves to the course. And that is that.